Hello and welcome. My name is Tony, and we have an hour together for chair yoga. And today we're going to be focused on balance. So we're going to be doing a little bit of sitting. We're going to be doing a little bit of standing, holding on to the chair, and then coming down to the earth for our relaxation. And of course, as always, you can bring the earth to you by lying down on a sofa or on your bed or on a reclined chair or anywhere else you feel comfortable and you're able to relax. So finding a chair that's stable and comfy and deciding how you're going to show up in your practice today. So maybe you want to sit into the support at the back of the chair or you want to sit away from the support. You get to decide. Feet at a comfortable distance for you. And this is going to be different for each and every one of us. So really allow yourself permission to check in with your body and notice what feels good to you. We're always trying to align what we do with working with our bodies instead of working against it and feel like we're always pushing up against it a little bit. Yoga is about awareness and starting that dialogue between your body and yourself and learning how that harmony works together. So we'll root down through our feet. Doesn't matter whether you've got shoes or socks on. Spread the toes wide or imagine spreading the toes wide. You can even pick those toes up if you like and fan them out. Pushing down through the balls of your feet and the heels, inside edge of the feet and the outside edge. Even that pressure up left to right as best as you can. And then let those toes settle down if they were lifted. A great way to build up awareness to our feet is to close our eyes or soften your gaze down. And we'll take our awareness all the way down to the feet, which of course is our, um, is our foundation for balance, even as we're sitting in the chair here. So notice the surfaces underneath your feet. Imagine them, sense them, feel them. And then noticing all the places your feet are connected down. And then notice the places that your feet are not connected, maybe the arches of the feet or in between the toes. So we're going to draw our awareness from our feet all the way up the legs, through the knees, upper legs, hips, and into the pelvis where we're sitting on the chair, noticing where your seat meets the chair. And the same thing with our, that we did with our feet, even at the pelvis up left to right, front to back, Noticing if you're imbalanced in a way that you can adjust yourself. Again, it's going to be different for all of us. All of our bodies have been through lots of different things. So we're accommodating for our body, not trying to make it look or feel like somebody else's. Take a breath in and on an exhale, really drop down into that support underneath you. So we get really connected down. And then from there, lifting up through the center line of your body, lifting up through the crown of the head, rolling those shoulders back and down a couple of times and letting them settle when it feels right for you as we broaden across the um, heart space. Keep the mindfulness to your awareness and your posture here. Noticing if you're sitting more forward or back, and that's going to change up how we sit on our pelvis. So we're going to sit up really nice and tall. And then with this mindful posture, take a breath in. And then exhale, soften and change in areas that feel better for you. So we come to that mindfulness and then we allow ourselves to accommodate for our body. So again, we're not trying to hold ourselves in a place that doesn't feel comfortable for us. Essentially, we're rooting down, pelvis down, to rise the upper body and broadening and softening. So it's a lot to think about. But when we align our posture, 
when we stack our bones one against each other, one on top of each other rather, then the muscles have to do a whole lot less work. And this really plays into balance. So as you can imagine, if we're standing up straight, then we have a, an opportunity for more balance rather than if we're curled over and then already we're a little off balance. So posture is a good part of balance, noticing um, proprioception, kind of where we are in space. So we'll take a big breath in again. Exhale, allow softness to come into your body. And then we'll do a little check in here, noticing how you're feeling today. Allow whatever comes up, you don't need to fix it or change it. Notice what's in your mind. Be curious, no judgment here. And notice how your body's feeling, maybe your energy levels of your body today. Soften any tension, any tightness that you can in your own unique way, whether that's movement or a little bit of breath or anything else. And then we start to pay attention to that breath coming in and out of the body. And we're a little more mindful, so we start to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. In your own way, we all breathe differently. And if it feels good to you, breathing in and out through the nose. This is a great way to start to realign the nervous system, to start to settle the stress response. So we deepen and lengthen the breath, and then we smooth it out, steadying the inhale all the way to the top of the breath and smoothing the exhale all the way down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And now we've got this longer, smoother breath in your own rhythm. If there's any forcing or straining of the breath, then let that go, even if it means the breath gets a little smaller, so it becomes sustainable. And I want you to imagine the breath somewhere down the center line of your body. So from the pelvic floor all the way through the crown of the head. And then imagine wherever the breath starts for you, and it's gonna be different for each of us, Imagine that breath like a little elevator and that center line on the inhale, it's rising. And on the exhale, that breath is settling down. And allow that breath to get as smooth as you would want an elevator to be. So it comes up, it comes down. And maybe for some of you, your breath feels like it comes out of the crown of your head, and maybe even down through to the earth. And for some of you, it may just be from your belly button to your heart or another place. And this just helps us keep that breath really nice and smooth. It also keeps us in that alignment to rising through the upper body. And then that exhale allows us to ground and settle. And again, if any tension creeps into your body because you're trying really, really hard, just let that go as best as you can. And we're going to get the body moving a little bit, and then we're going to be coming to standing to get a little bit more balance in. So let's take our, dangle our arms right next to us. Shoulders over hips, more or less. And again, those shoulders are settled down. Arms are nice and soft. You can bend the elbows if you have um, arms on your chair. And then on the inhale, we're going to drift those ear shoulders up way by the ears. And then the exhale, we're going to let those shoulders settle down. And maybe just take them a little further down than you would normally. Inhaling, creeping up with that elevator breath. And exhaling down. And allow that inhale to maybe crunch up right into your neck. Maybe draw your shoulders up a little higher. Exhale. See so if you can bring a softness into it. Great place to be right here. If this feels really good to you, then stay. If you'd like to take these into circles, bring the shoulders forward and up. And then on the exhale, down and back. 
So we're creating more of a circle through the shoulders. Don't be surprised if one shoulder feels very different from another. Try and stay away from stories or judgment as to why that is and just be curious. Kind of like, huh, oh, I noticed that in my left shoulder. It's a little different to my right. And try and smooth it out as best as you can. Using that breath, the elevated breath, either drawing up and down or round. And if we're going round, let's pause at the end of that exhale and go round in the opposite direction. Doesn't have to be a very big movement. This might feel very different in your body. You might notice this movement in a very different part. And again, you have permission to, um, giving yourself permission to shift or adjust the movement for your body. And maybe you want to do less. Maybe this isn't a good movement for you or you want to change it up. This is your practice and you get to do that. Mm -hmm. And wherever you are, we'll take more or less one more breath. And then we'll keep those hands dangling down rooting to rise and we've got that steadiness of breath that elevator breath we're going to use that elevator this is the inhale on the exhale i'm going to dangle those right fingertips down inhaling allow the elevator to draw you up and on the exhale as the elevator sinks we're going over to the left side so we're getting into the lateral flexion of the body here and of course we're having as we're tipping from side to side we're starting to get into that balance so rooting down through your feet and hips. So making sure that you're not lifting one hip to dip those fingertips a little deeper so we really get connected in the pelvis. Drawing those collarbones wide and keeping that breath moving you. So never pushing past the breath, so we're never holding the breath and dipping a little deeper. We're really starting to move with the breath. Great place to be right here. And if this feels enough, then please stay. Otherwise, as we dip one, um, the hands towards one side, the opposite arm can lift and reach. And then we're coming to the other side. Allow this movement to be smooth and steady. And again, this is a whole lot of balance here. If it feels better for one hand to come to the leg of the chair as you come over, please do. This is not a fast movement. We're not swinging ourselves over with momentum. What we want is control here. Awareness and control, and that's how um, our balance gets a little more stable, a little more steady. We get a little stronger. Keeping those pelvises rooted, both hips, both sides. And let's take one more either side unless you're resting. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come all the way up through center. Any intuitive movement you need to release any tension, please go ahead. If you're sitting into the back of your chair, I highly recommend you shuffle forward, even if it's a little bit, as we get down through the flexion and extension of the spine, so we just have a little bit more room. Feet are rooted, seat are rooted. We're lifting up, and we've got that elevator breath moving through our body. On the inhale, as the elevator lifts, the heart lifts, and we arch the back. On the exhale, as the elevator descends, imagine scooping out your belly, kind of like an ice cream scoop. The belly comes back towards the spine and we push the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair. Fingertips rest on the knees. Inhaling, hands drift towards the pelvis as we draw the shoulder blades towards each other. And exhaling, we flex. So that inhale is an extension of the spine, that's the arch. Exhaling the curl of the spine is that flexion. So we're trying, we've been side to side, now we're going backwards and forwards. Noticing how this feels for you. Of course, on the inhale to get into the cervical spine, lift up through the chin, but lengthen the back of the neck here. So we're not just compressing it, 
And on the exhale, tuck that chin in towards the chest as if you're holding an orange between your collarbones and your chin. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. And notice how that feels. On that exhale, feel free to push into the feet a little to round onto the back of the pelvis. On the inhale, you can send that tailbone out behind you. And we're getting a little more focused on the lower spine, that lumbar spine. If you want to add on with the arms on the inhale, let's drift that right arm up on the inhale. And maybe it comes in front of you, maybe it comes above you. Depending on your range of motion, it might even come behind you. And then as we exhale, it comes down. So now we're getting a little less support on our arms. And if that feels like it takes away from the spinal movement, then please come down with the hands and just drift them up and down your legs. This is a great place to stay, one arm and then another, if you would like to add on. We can do both arms together. So again, this takes a little bit more core and we don't have the stability of our hands, so drifting both hands next to you. On the inhale, as if you're holding a beach ball, thumbs to the ceiling to start with. We're lifting, that beach ball can be as big or as small as your shoulders prefer. And on that exhale, we're rounding, maybe the hands come back behind your hips. Inhaling, this is just an extension of the movement of the spine. So allowing those hands to be part of the movement. That entire inhale lifting and the entire exhale lowering. Let's take another four breaths. So if you're going side to side, to either side or four more with either both hands or no hands. Really noticing those inhales and exhales, the elevator breath, those arms are an extension of that elevator lifting and steadying down into that lowering, more or less, one more left, unless you're resting. And on that exhale, We'll finish that up and then come all the way back through center. And any kind of intuitive movement to release any tension, please go ahead. Coming into our twist now. So we're gonna be sitting again, a little bit away from the back of the chair. It gives you a little more movement as we come into those rotations. We're rooting down, feet in seat, and rising from there. This is the inhale, we're going to be twisting to the left. I'm going to be mirroring you. So this is the inhale on the exhale. Right hand and shoulder drifts forward as the left shoulder drifts back, but to the left, inhaling back through center. And those hands can give you a little bit of stability here. If you want to add on that left hand, on the exhale, it's going to come up, cactus the arm, and bring it back behind you. And inhaling back through center, root it through feet and seat. Exhaling, you twist, take the gaze with you, and inhaling back through center. Noticing how that feels in your body. And you can stay here. Or if you want to, next time you twist, stay for three breaths wherever you are. If that right hand is getting very involved in gripping, you can hover it, bringing that strength into the core. Keep that breath, that same elevator breath. And stay for that last exhale, whenever that is for you. And then we'll come all the way back through center. Any movement you need, go ahead and we're coming to the other side. Rooting to rise. This is the inhale on the exhale. Left shoulder and hand forward as we glance to the right and inhaling back through center. Glancing over that right shoulder even, depending on how it feels in your neck. And this is a great place to stay. If you want to add on, let's add the arm. On that exhale, that right arm comes up, cactus it and inhaling back through center. 
If that left hand is getting very connected down to give you more twist and you're feeling a lot of tension in there, see if you can hover or lighten that hand. So the musculature of your torso is really doing the work here. And then the option is to twist and stay. Every inhale, we lengthen just like that elevator. Every exhale, we watch that elevator go down as we soften or deepen the twist. Softening any tension that stays at that last. Exhale at the center of that elevator. And on the inhale, up we come back through center. Any intuitive movement to release tension, please go ahead. And then we're going to be rooting down through both feet here. Rooting down to rise, keep that elevator breath going. And then on the inhale, we're going to be lifting up through that right heel. Exhale, taking it down. And then we're going to go to the other side. Left heel lifts, exhaling down. Inhaling, right heel, exhaling down. And then we're going to go to the left. Nicely done. And we're not looking for height here, what we're looking for is control. So we want the smoothness of the movement, just like we want that smooth elevator with the breath coming up and down. Now if it feels okay for you, you can come up to maybe the tippy toes and roll down through the foot. And again, what we're looking for is control and Height is not the focus here. What we're looking for is that smoothness of movement. Now, as you're lifting through one heel, start to push down through the other foot a little more. So, although we're lifting one heel, I'm pushing, I'm lifting my left, but I'm pushing down through my right foot a little more. Rooting to rise. So our core is activated here. We've got that intention as we root to rise to lift up through the torso. Option to come to the toes or maybe even lift up through that other foot. So the foot maybe lifts entirely. Noticing your upper body here and if you are swinging your upper body back to lift the leg, sit your shoulders forward over the hips and do a little less. So what we're trying to do is do this without any momentum. And again, we're pushing down through one foot to lighten or lift the other. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. And again, we're coming into getting used to balance here, as well as starting to warm up through the hips, the hip flexors and those quads here and starting to activate that um, corset of muscles around our abdominals. One last one here, and then we're gonna take that all the way down. Big breath in, exhaling, letting go of tension, and coming back to that elevator breath. We're going to be using coming up to standing, and then coming down to sitting as part of our yoga. So, rooting to rise, and then we're gonna bring the heels back a little underneath us. So we've got our knees a little bit in front of our heels. Hands resting on the legs. Elevate your breath, so inhaling and exhaling. And then when you're ready, Pushing into both feet, you can use your hands to inhale, bringing the heart forward, long back here, pushing into both feet and coming up. And exhaling, coming all the way down. Inhaling, shoulders forward, push into the feet. And inhale, that elevator draws you up. Exhaling, all the way down. And what we want is the steadiness of the movement. And next time we come to standing, we stay. 
here we are standing. I have the chair to my, um, or let's say I'm mirroring you, to my left. So you can just stand with the chair over to your left. This is, of course, to my right. Then we're going to come to mountain pose. So a little wider in the feet than we would normally stand. Around about hip distance or wider. Kind of like a mountain, wide at the base. And we root down through your feet. Bend your knees a little bit. And then push down through the feet evenly, left to right as best as you can, spreading those toes nice and wide so we have a really nice wide base. And then we're gonna allow that to ripple up through the center line of our body to the crown of our head. Roll the shoulders back and down a few times. And then you can take the palms forward. This is traditional mountain pose. Allow the pelvis to be neutral. And if you're locking your knees here, keep a micro bend in the knees so the muscles um, stay active. Take a big breath in. And on the exhale, just soften a little. Give yourself permission to do what you need to, once again, to work with your body. And if this feels enough for you, you can, of course, take hold of that chair or countertop, whatever you have handy. And we breathe. So that elevated breath now coming from your feet or maybe any somewhere else through the midline of your body and it's coming up really nice and steadily and we're taking it all the way down to whichever, uh, maybe it's your belly button, your pelvic floor, maybe it is all the way down to the floor. So we get this lifting and lowering. And this just helps us get a visual of that steadiness, that smoothness of breath. If the elevator breath doesn't work for you, then just keep that breath as smooth as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. All the while giving yourself permission to adjust and adapt your position. And then from there, we're going to be taking the right hand out. On the inhale, we're going to be lifting up through the elbow, exhaling those fingertips lower. Inhaling and exhaling. Great place to be. Option to start to move from the shoulder and those fingertips can come as high or as low as they like. Now you have that left hand on the chair, should you wish to come up and over. Root down through both feet. So as you reach, see if you, with the right fingertip, see if you can root down through the right foot a little more. So we get that length on the right side. And let's take one more here. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. I'm going to take that hand towards that right hip. Taking the feet a little closer together, even right next to each other. And again, we've got a narrower foundation here, so this might take some getting used to. And if it feels better to have your feet a little bit apart, please listen to your own body. We've got that support next to us, again, countertop or chair, making sure you're not leaning towards the chair so, so it's so small, because it's too small. So then we're off balance to start with. Rooting down through those left feet here. And then from here, just like before, on the inhale, we're going to bend that right knee and lift the, lift the heel so the toes are uh, um, connected down. And then we're going to exhale that back down, inhaling and exhaling. So we're getting used to that weight coming on the left foot. And if this is enough for you, then please stay there. No need to add more. Mm -hmm. Next time we come up, root down through the left foot. Option to keep those toes or the ball of the foot on the floor. Notice if your hip is just hiked up or lowered down and see if you can keep the pelvis as neutral as possible. Keeping those hip bones facing forward, kind of like car headlights, then take that right knee out towards the side. You can take the heel over the top of that left foot and here we are. This is modified tree, and we have that nice support. 
option to stay here, option to take the tippy toes, or the, um, the toes to the inside of that left ankle, foot and ankle pressing in towards each other. So we get the center line of the body. And again, the breath is still that elevated breath. Option to stay here, option to lift the foot into the shin. Notice if your hips are turning to the right, see if we can keep the pelvis facing forward. And we're just getting that external rotation here. The last option, of course, is to lift that foot up to the inner thigh, but just not on the knee. If we prep, push pressure, put pressure on the knee, we don't want to put pressure on the knee joint. So either floor, ankle, shin, you can tap up and tap down if you're getting used to it, or you can come up to the upper thigh. Notice if you're twisting to the right, bring those hips facing forward and come to a place that it feels sustainable for you. Breathing from maybe from that left sole of the foot all the way up through the crown of the head and down. Give yourself permission to shift and change. Keeping your hand on your hip here will give you a nice grounding feeling. If you want to add on, Let's take that right arm out, thumb and fingertip towards each other. That elbow can be down, it can be up, and with that extend, extension through the elbow, you get to decide how your tree branch looks. And then the option is, if this is enough, wherever it is that you are, then stay. It feels too much, and you're unable to keep that steadiness of breath, take yourself to a previous modification always working with yourself. If you want to add on, start to consider hovering that hand for a little bit of time from the support. And maybe if it feels okay, you can keep both hands on your hips. And again, that support is right there should you need it. Push the foot wherever it is into the left foot, ankle, shin, thigh, and then we draw in through the center line of the body. We've got that elevator breath going. A lot of the vestibular system, the balance system, is connected to the eyesight, the breath, so keep your gaze focused somewhere. Keep that breath steady. And the last option is to take those both arms out, thumb and first finger connect to each other. You can use gentle pressure on either to help with balance. Let's stay here for three breaths. Wherever you are, you can always come out early. This is a long hold. If you pop out, come right back in. We've got one more breath. And on that exhale, left hand down, right hand down if it was lifted, and coming back down to two feet. Give that left leg a little bit of a shake and rotate through the hips. Beautiful job. We're coming to the other side. So either turn around and just listen to me or readjust the chair to the other side. Mountain pose. So feet a little wider than normal, hip width or wider. Rooting, bend through the knees, root down through both feet evenly as evenly as you can, and then let that inhale travel up through to the crown of the head, rolling on an exhale, those shoulders back and down, palms facing forward, and we've got mountain pose. And again, if you're locking your joints, you have a nice micro bend in them. Get used to that breath. Using that right hand, that support under the right hand, turning that left palm up, from the inhale, lifting the fingertips, exhaling down. Great place to be, and it's just mimicking your breath here, that elevator as it comes up, option to come from the shoulder, inhaling and exhaling in your own way. Option to use the support as we take those fingertips up and over. We already did this when we were seated. And of course, if you don't need that support, that's great. Keep that right hand next to you. And root down through the left foot as we come up and over. Let's take another one or two here. 
Removing with the breath. Lost one here. Coming back through center, that right hand is on support and we're taking that left hand to the left hip. Feet coming in towards each other, any amount of narrow. On an inhale, we're bending that left knee, lifting up through the left heel and taking it down. This is a great way of starting to build strength on that right side. So spread those right toes, push down through the right foot, and we're getting that rooting to rise. Great place to be. Next time, we lift the heel, option to stay. Hips and heart facing forward, staying here, or allowing that knee to come out to the side, but we're not taking the pelvis with us. Great place to stay right here up onto tippy toes or the ball of that foot. The heel can connect to the top of that right foot and we've got that connection there. Rooting to rise, this might feel a little bit more stable for you rather than no connection. You can take the foot to the inside of that right ankle. Ankle and heel press in towards each other. So again, we're looking at the middle line of the body, just with that elevated breath coming up and down. Great place to stay here. Again, that hand to that left hip is gonna anchor you into a little bit more balance. Keep your gaze focused somewhere that is not moving, somewhere soft, and keep that breath moving through your body. Option to stay here, option to bring that left foot up a little higher. Now you can tap up and tap down, getting used to bearing all of your weight on that right foot. Option to lift and stay. And again, making sure that hip doesn't come out, the hips are facing forward like headlights. Option to take that left foot up a little higher. But just noticing what's happening in your body if your hip is lowered or heightened. If you can, wherever that foot is on that right leg, bringing the two together, pushing equally back that right leg into the right foot, sole of the foot or heel, and then come to a place that it feels sustainable. Again, not on that knee joint. Great place to stay, left hand on left hip. Got support here, should you need it. Come out whenever you feel ready. Option to take that left hand up, front thumb and first finger connected towards each other, soften through the shoulders. Easy joints or you can reach, it is your tree to do what you like with it. And then the option is, if you want to, to start to just lighten that right hand, maybe lift the fingertips one by one by one and keep that thumb there. We're starting to get used to balance. Maybe the hands come through both hips and that feels like the best place for you. Support's always there should you need it. The last option is both hands, maybe lift up. First finger and thumbs connect. You can use a little pressure either way to support you here. Keep the breath going, we've got three breaths. And again, if you need to pop out during those three breaths, please do. Steady the breath. Steady the gaze. You've got one more breath here all the way up. And on that exhale, that right hand's coming down and left hand down to the hip and left foot down. Bend through the knees a little, hula hoop through the hips. You can shake out that right leg a little, anything that feels really good. And then we're coming to face the back of the chair or that surface, wherever you have it. Mountain pose, fingertips light on the back of the chair or your support. On the inhale, we're rocking forward. So your toes are gonna grip here, rocking the whole body forward. Heels get a little lighter and on the exhale, we're rocking back. So inhale and exhaling, a little bit like using your body as a pendulum. And then fixing your gaze, on the inhale, of course, we've got that elevated breath coming up, exhaling down. Option to start to come forward, lift through the heels, exhaling down, walking back into the heels. Use your breath, use that elevated breath to help you. Now, as you are lifting, 
It's not about the height, we want the control. Micro bend in those knees. And we're starting to strengthen through the ankles. If this feels really good to you, maybe you can play with coming up a little higher. If you're using a lot of weight, leaning on the support you have, the back of the chair, see if you can lighten those fingers. And if you're gripping with your whole hand, maybe you come to two fingers or one finger either hand. And then the option is to lift one arm up on the inhale, exhale, we're drifting it down. And then opposite arm. Noticing what's happening in your body. Always only coming to a place that feels really good for you. Fixing the gaze, focusing on that breath, coming steadily up and down. And the arms are mirroring the heels. Exhaling, the hands come down as the heels come down. Mm -hmm. Option to stay here. Option to play with both hands lifting. They don't have to come very far, maybe they just hover a little bit, and if you need the support, it's there for you. Otherwise, drifting the arms up and drifting them down. Option to stay here. And again, we're strengthening, especially through the feet and the ankles. Option to lift any height and stay three breaths. Keep that elevator breath going from maybe from the soles of your feet all the way up and all the way down. Keep the gaze fixed. And we've got one more breath. And on that next exhale, heels and hands come all the way down. Big breath in. Exhaling it all the way out. From wherever we are, you can take a little step back, but make sure that you still have that support. And then from here, we're going to root down, I'm going to turn forward so you can see me. We're going to root down through our right foot and lift the left heel. And maybe this is enough right here. And again, everybody stays at their own bus stop that feels really good for them. And you can add on from there. Great place to be right here. This is the inhale, hands in front of you. You're gonna to start to bend that right knee, even with the left heel lifted, and inhale back up. Exhaling and inhaling. And again, that elevator breath. Notice just how much pressure you're putting on the ball of that left foot or the toes. Great place to be. Adding on. We're gonna lift that left heel up off the floor, left ball of the foot. And I'm gonna take that, bend that knee so the foot comes a little bit back behind us. So we're holding it up in space here. This is the inhale and the exhale. We're bending that right knee, inhaling up. Great place to be, right there. Doesn't matter how deep you go, what we want is the steadiness of the movement. Mm -hmm. This is the movement we use for coming up and down stairs. And of course, in natural walking, when we're shifting our weight from one to the other, we're just starting to um, build that awareness, that strength on the right side. Option to keep going, option to bend and stay. Three breaths here. Fingertips reaching on the back of the chair. If you can hover one hand or maybe even both, fantastic. You've more or less got one more breath to go. And then very slowly push into the right leg and straighten, left foot comes down. Give that right leg a little bit of a wiggle and we're coming to the other side. So, left or right heel lifts and we're staying on those toes. This is the inhale, on the exhale, we're bending the left knee, 
inhaling up. Great place to be. Noticing just how much pressure you're putting on the right ball of the foot or even the tippy toes. And if this feels enough, then stay. You know where we're going. Bending that right knee. And we're going to bend and straighten through that left leg. Not locking at the top. We're trying to keep just away from that locking edge. So we're really keeping the hip, the quad, and the ankle, all of those muscles and joints engaged. Option to keep going. Option to bend and stay. Whether you've got hands supporting you, whether your hands are on your hips, keep your gaze steady and keep that elevator breath going. More or less, you've got one more breath to go. And then on the next inhale, push into that left foot, coming all the way up, release that right leg. If anything you need, a little bit of a wiggle. Take a big breath in. Exhale, mountain pose. And notice how you're feeling. Steady the breath, if that heart rate got elevated at all, we'll take it down by smoothing the breath out. From here, we're coming into relaxation. Relaxing on your chair, or if you prefer, coming all the way down to the floor, or on your bed or a reclined chair, somewhere you're comfortable, and I'll meet you there. Here we are, wherever you're resting. I'm down on the earth, so we're gonna come all the way down onto our back, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. If you're resting in your chair, then fantastic. Come to a comfortable place, sitting back into the chair. And we're taking a big breath in here. Exhaling, release your bones down into the support underneath you. Let's take another few breaths just like that. Every exhale, feel your bones get a little heavier. Now if you're on the earth, arms come into a cactus or a T. And then we're walking those feet a little um, wider, maybe mat distance. Same as if you're on the chair. And then wherever you are, we're going to wash those knees side to side, just gently. Massaging that lower back if you are on the earth. Option if you're on the earth to shift the hips all the way to one side if it feels good in your lower back, opposite hip lifts, and we're windshield wipering them side to side. Only as much as feels good to you though. Option to take those knees to one side and wherever you are, the gaze can be at the other side away from the knees, whether you're in the chair or the floor. Keep the breath steady. Still imagine those elevator breath coming up and down the body. And every exhale, allowing just a little deeper release. As if that elevator can now go down a little bit deeper into the basement. And then we inhale up, maybe coming to the other side if you were holding. If you're still in movement, then enjoy that. Elevator breath. We're getting that rotation through the spine. Releasing where you can, wherever you are. Over the next few breaths, we will come back through center. I'm gonna walk those feet in towards each other, giving yourself a little hug on the right knee, drawing that right knee in, and same as if you're in the chair. I'm going to circle through that ankle, nice and steady. And then back in the opposite direction. We've done a lot of work on that ankle, so we're not moving in momentum here. We're really smoothing and steadying that movement. And then when you're ready, flex in that ankle. We'll take that right foot down to the floor, left knee draws in. 
And we'll do the same on this side, really getting that full range of motion with the ankle. As smooth a circle as you can allow it to become. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Flex in that ankle and we're taking the feet down. And then maybe if you're on the floor, you put a bolster or a pillow underneath you. Maybe you just simply sit the heels apart, knees towards each other, or coming into your relaxation. Maybe it's on your back, on your side, on your belly, wherever it feels comfortable for you. There's not a right or wrong here. This is about, again, acknowledging what feels good in your body and allowing your body to guide you into that place of comfort. And as you do that, maybe taking extra layers, an eye pillow, maybe anything that suits you, I'm going to come up to seated to guide you through your relaxation. So settling yourself down and in, and again, finding as much comfort as you can here. We take a breath in when we're ready from your feet all the way up to the crown of your head. Hold for a beat and then exhale, let that breath swoop down through your body, releasing tension. And do that a couple more times. Big, deep breath in, right to the top, the crown of your head. Hold for a beat and then exhale that breath out. Every exhale, allow the breath to release more tension, tightness, maybe thoughts or opinions about your practice. This is where we really let go on all levels. And then on one of your next sweeping exhales, simply let the breath find its own rhythm, no control. Feeling the surfaces underneath you and allowing your bones to deepen into that surface. Allowing the joints to soften and the muscles to loosen and lengthen. Starting to give your inside body permission to relax, release tension from around the organs, little pockets of tightness you might not have noticed. And then relax the muscles of your face, smoothing your forehead as much as you're able, softening the tension between your eyebrows and Relaxing the muscles around your eyes and behind your eyes. Softening the jaw, parting the back teeth, allowing the lips to be soft. And then invite that unwinding into the rest of your body. Moment by moment, breath by breath, releasing and letting go. If your mind gets busy, 
just like as if you almost heard a conversation from the next room, just see if you can tune it out. And then you'll be drawn back in and then tune it out. of any lost little bits. And then when you're ready, simply start to bring your awareness back to the space you're in, the surfaces underneath you. Fill your body with your awareness from your toes and fingertips through the crown of your head. And start to bring a little breath in from the tippy toes, bring it all the way in through your body as if you're infusing it with energy. Exhale, just watch and notice that breath settling into your body. And on an inhale, bringing a little more life force, that prana in, exhaling, watching it settle. Take as many breaths as you need to feel very present. Without needing to move a muscle, notice how you're feeling. Notice what's occupying your mind. Notice how your body's feeling after moving. And starting to allow that awareness that you have in your body to start to bring movements in. Intuitive movements. There's no wrong way to do it. If you prefer to stay in stillness to end your practice, please do. Let my words slide over your awareness and deepen into your relaxation. If you wish to come to another shape to finish your practice, then slowly, lazily, allowing your body to guide you to where it wishes to be today. Noticing as you shift and settle in. And then we root down into the support underneath us wherever we are, opening up through the heart space. Hands in any gesture that suits you today, maybe just hand to belly or heart or anything else. We take a breath in and on an exhale, soften the gaze or close the eyes as we dip the chin towards that heart space and just acknowledge and with gratitude, thank yourself for taking the time for the last hour to move your body, to pay attention, to start to increase this relationship you have with it, noticing all the subtle languages that it's helping you tune in and work with your body and not against it. From my heart to yours, thank you for being here. Namaste.